Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between arc welding electrode and electric discharge machining electrode. An electrode acts as one of the two terminals of an electric circuit to establish the electrical connection. It is always made of electrically conductive material so that it can easily emit or receive electrons or ions. Based on the polarity, an electrode can be either anode or cathode. Based on the polarity, the arc welding electrode either supplies or receives ample electrons continuously in order to form the arc. This arc is the primary source of heat that is indispensably required for fusing and joining two or more components. The electric discharge machining also employs an electrode, however, the shape and purpose are completely different from that used in welding. So, let's look into the basic differences between arc welding electrode and electric discharge machining electrode in a tabular form. Difference number 1, arc welding electrodes can be consumable or non-consumable one. A consumable electrode melts down and deposit on the weld bead to supply filler material during welding, whereas, electric discharge machining electrode is always non-consumable. Thus this electrode does not melt down or deposit on workpiece surface during the process. Number 2, arc welding electrodes are always made of metals or metallic alloys, like mild steel, tungsten, etc., whereas, electric discharge machining electrodes can be made of metals, metallic alloys, non-metallic materials, or even metal and non-metal alloys, like copper, brass, tungsten, graphite, etc. Number 3, arc welding electrodes can be given either negative or positive polarity. In fact, Welding can be carried out in three different polarities, IC, DCE and NDCEP, whereas, electric discharge machining electrode is always given negative polarity. Number 4, arc welding electrode is meant for liberating, or absorbing, based on polarity, electrons continuously to constitute arc, whereas, electric discharge machining electrode is meant for liberating electrons intermittently to generate spark. Number 5. The arc welding electrode is not immersed in any liquid. Only a, or shielding gas, column exists in between the electrode and workpiece, whereas, electric discharge machining electrode is commonly immersed in suitable dielectric fluid, kerosene, deionized water, hydrocarbon oil, etc. However, appropriate gas can also be used as dielectric in dry electric discharge machining. Number 6. Arc welding electrode where rate is comparatively higher. Accordingly, electrode life is less, even with non consumable electrode, whereas, electric discharge machining electrode or tool where rate is low, and thus tool life is more. Number 7 Arc welding electrodes mostly come in the form of rod or wire, whereas, electric discharge machining electrodes can have wide variety of shapes including wire, flat die, etc. Number 8 Usually arc welding electrodes are not given specific profile, whereas, electric discharge machining electrodes must have specific profile in accordance with the desired feature shape, especially for die sinking electric discharge machining. Number 9, close tolerance and high dimensional accuracy are not desired in arc welding electrodes, whereas, electric discharge machining electrodes require tight tolerance and high dimensional accuracy. And, Difference number 10. In few arc welding processes, the electrode is coated with appropriate flux, whereas, electric discharge machining electrode is not coated with flux. However, insulation may be required in certain cases, 